This week, the photography world lost yet another photographer this year, and it seems like, well, we've had three in the last couple of weeks. Fan Ho passed away a few weeks ago, followed by Bill Cunningham, and then last Monday on June 27th at the age of 85, on his 85th birthday, Dave Heath passed away at his home in Toronto. And Dave Heath, I think, is definitely the probably the least known of those three photographers, but he was a very important figure, uh, very talented photographer, and I did a show on him earlier this year and uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for Heath. Uh, he did some amazing work and he was born in 1931 in Pennsylvania and in his early years uh, he had a very difficult upbringing. He was, uh, his parents were very young, split up when he was just a baby and he spent uh, most of his youth bouncing around from foster home to foster home and as one can imagine uh, that got him in a little bit of behavioral trouble and he ended up finding photography as a way uh, to identify himself with something and through one of his mentors he really got attached to the act of shooting a camera and making photographs and I think this is really interesting that early on he was influenced by the spreads in Life magazine that W. Eugene Smith was doing and really went on a very interesting and specific career path related to that. He never ended up shooting uh, photojournalism for various publications. He wasn't interested in that. But he approached that style of storytelling photography uh, into his own, I guess, almost fine art output, you could call it. Um, he did shows and gallery stuff, but he never uh, did editorial work or worked for commercial publication, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, he did study with U W. Eugene Smith when he moved to New York. Uh, the two became friends. and. He he knew everyone in New York. And what's interesting about Dave's work is he developed a style um, that was very much in the storytelling uh, line of photojournalism, but he referred to them as just maquettes. And these were simply little books that he would make and he would put together images that related to one another and in some way told some kind of story. Uh, he had um, an interesting career that really kind of came to its swan song with a book that he published called Dialogue with Solitude. Dialogue with Solitude was really never a famous publication, but it is a beautiful work. And this is a book that, uh, you know, by that point he knew everybody, Robert Frank, Marilyn Mark, he had all these people advise him on the layouts and the spreads. And it took him several years, I think it was probably about four or five years, to put this book together, uh, but come up with a publisher, find ways to get it done. He really wanted to do Dialogue with Solitude, and the results show it is simply a beautiful book. Um, I have a book that I showed in the other episode that I did on Dave Heath that is called Multitude Solitude, which is a retrospective catalog. It's really thick, and it's extremely good. There are essays in here on his printing style. They talk about a lot of the techniques that he used. He and W. Gene Smith were both known for using a technique of uh, using ferrous cyanide to actually bleach the print. And what this did is it was a way of controlling um, a, a further contrast in a black and white print. So for instance, they could make the backgrounds really dark, and especially in portrait photography, uh, bring faces and, and the people and the, the subjects of the photograph uh, into a much brighter realm by actually bleaching out the silver that's in the print. And it's a really um, uh, amazing technique when done right. And Dave's Heath and W. Gene Smith both were, were just masters at this. Anyway, I'll put a link to this in the show description. Um, it is highly recommended. It is an excellent book. Not only does it include the complete book of Dialogue with Sol Solitude, which isn't very thick, but it has a lot more to it as well. And uh, this is really quite a gem. Um, one thing I want to share with you uh, about Dave Heath is, and I mentioned this before, but um, you know, I'm working on the Artist Series right now, which is a series of short films on living photographers. And earlier this year, uh, when I got the funding together to do this project, uh, Dave Heath was one of the photographers that I reached out to, and he was kind of difficult to find, as many people are. And I ended up going through a gallery who put me in touch with a curator, and it was a chain of emails that kind of went through. And I... <laughs> basically was asking, you know, do you guys think this is something that, he, I don't know what kind of health he's in, I don't know Dave Heath, you know, would this be something he would be interested in? Um, and eventually just died. And about two weeks went by and I thought, you know, well, that probably isn't gonna happen. Out of the blue, I got an email from Dave Heath and I about fell out of my chair, it blew me away. And I wanna share that with you guys today because this is very special to me. Um, 
It says, Dear Ted, Keith passed on to me your request. I appreciate your interest in my work and your wish to do a short film on me, but I must submit my apologies and decline. The age is late, almost 85. The energy and spirit low, the mind faltering. I would prove to be a white bearded old man babbling away. I wish the work to speak for itself. Thank you kindly, Dave. And he also included a self portrait that he took at the time of writing the email. And this is special to me because I, I completely understand and respect his, his request quest to not do it. Um, you know, doing a short film and asking somebody to talk about work that they did 60 years ago is, you know, uh, probably not the most exciting thing in the world for him. Um, but I thought he deserved it. And anyway, I thought it was also interesting because he sent that self-portrait as well, that here's somebody at the age of 85 who is winding down and getting very tired and he still has his camera shooting away. And I, that's just a really special email and I wanted to share that with you guys. And I really wish I'd had the opportunity to at least meet Dave Heath, uh, if not work with him and do a short film on him because I think he's very deserving in that series and that's really what the artist series is about is preserving that legacy uh, but it was not to happen anyway I want to thank Dave uh, for all the beautiful work and for that email because it does mean a lot to me and I will link up to the other video that I did it's much more um, involved in terms of going in and analyzing the work and talking about the history behind it and I will put that in the show description or up here or wherever you're watching this and uh, anyway go check it out the New York Times did a wonderful um, article on Dave Heath as well that came out a couple days ago and I will put a link to that and I highly recommend checking that out because there's some really nice photographs in there and a nice story that goes along with it. It was very well done. Anyway, that's about all I've got today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to The Art of Photography. We're doing a lot of videos these days. It kind of turns out and I've got another one ready to go tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.